Serious depressed people of Reddit, what are some hobbies that bring you a small amount of joy and why? Gardening is nice. So is feeding birds. This. I really vibe with plants and grass. I put a big bird feeder above my cat tree. My cats sit and watch the meat. Spitting. Hissing and so on. They seem disappointed when the birds fly off with full bellies. It's somehow rather therapeutic to watch. My dog. He brings me joy every day. He's my emotional support. I don't have any hobbies. Not anymore. This is a hard thing to go through. In my ups and downs and battles with depression though. You will find your spark again. Maybe not with the same things as before. But it'll be there. Baking bread. Kneading is therapeutic. And then when it's done I get to eat the bread. The bread never needs me as much as I need it. Though. At least it feeds you. Is soft. Warm. Good with butter. I use a round loom. To make bananas and scarves. Then I leave them places. Like a park or bus bench. With a note that says. Not lost. Please take me. If you need me. Apostrophe. I heart you for this. Thank you. Playing guitar. It's an activity that's super stimulating, especially if in playing a really fast song. So it takes my mind off of everything, and just makes me happy. There's something so satisfying, and life affirming in learning how to play a song you've loved deeply for years. And to hear it come out of you, never gets old. I know it's such a nice feeling. And then the next time you're listening to it, you just feel more connected to it. Video games. At this point I don't think there's any joy left. I play to not think and forget I guess. Probably would end up a alcoholic if that was a cheaper addiction. Video games for me too. Plus TV and movies. Basically anything to keep my mind distracted while I'm home alone. Warhammer 40. 000. Painting is therapeutic. As is modeling and conversion. It's hard to forget you accomplish something when it's right there on display. Also it got me out and playing games at my local game store. When a former housemate got into 40k, he recruited me, his wife, and anybody who would sit still long enough to help paint his army. Wish I had some pictures of the awesome dragon I painted for him. It turned out really cool. Weightlifting. It's a different but positive kind of pain. It's a great distraction. Plus as you progress it makes you feel nice. Second for this. Even on days when I feel like I can't do anything. If I just go to the gym and get started. Pretty soon the weights are moving. And I can say that I haven't wasted a whole day. Music creation. It is the venting that we all need. Also, playing any game where you can do anything without caring like in GTA. Everyone bringing you down. Blow them all up in a game. I've also played games where you go to church just because I felt so alone and wanted to mimic having a community, even if it was imaginary. If you want a game that feels like a community, I'd suggest Stardew Valley or Animal Crossing. They're really relaxing and have helped me through depression and loneliness. Also all the Doom games are very mindless and enjoyable to just go about killing demons. Learning Japanese. I joined a Japanese English exchange server to help myself learn better and accidentally made social connections that helped a lot. Archery. It's calming for me and that feeling you get when you perfectly hit your target is the best. Crochet. It's really calming. I'm actually recovering from mild bad habits which is nice. Diamond art painting. I usually get so focused on putting the diamonds on the correct symbol that I don't think about my problems. This is just me personally, but when I'm very focused on something such as puzzles or games I tend to enjoy myself. Animal Crossing. Because escapism. I've tried to get the appeal of Animal Crossing, and I just can't. I don't know if I just don't know how to play or what, but it feels like after 30 to 45 minutes there's nothing left to do. Yup. Animal Crossing was a game I really wanted to love. I couldn't afford a GameCube. So I built a little town out of Lego and visited every day. My little pretend world was better because weeds wouldn't sprout literally overnight, and my townsfolk wouldn't bitch at me for it. Pick the weeds yourselves, if you hate them so much. Arseholes. This is weird. But I've found that if I wash my hair, especially during a leisurely hot shower, 
I come out the other side in a much better mindset. Not a hobby. But it always seems to work for me. I'm not a clean freak by any means. But I've also noticed that brushing my teeth can have a similar effect. Tidying just a very little bit. Like taking 30 seconds to sweep the kitchen floor. Helps me in a similar way. Because depression takes away the will to take care of myself. And there's so much shame related to it. Brushing my teeth can feel like such a win. Painting ugly paintings. I'm not good at painting. But I love the process. If I set out to make it ugly, it keeps the perfectionism from getting in the way. Very wise app approach. I like to paint impromptu abstract. Since no one can tell me it is wrong. I can get so absorbed in dribbrushing over heavy textures too. Just to see what happens. Cycling. I don't even enjoy my hobbies anymore. I hope you are already in touch with a psychiatrist. If not please seek help. If you ever need to talk, please PM me. And it might not seem like much right now, but I feel you. And I do hope things get better for you. Keep fighting. I do have anxiety issues combined with chronic fatigue that can make it feel like depression some days. I focus on things I can control like exercise, eating well, trying to get sleep, and most of all, I opened an arts and craft shop so this gives me something to do with my free time. I highly recommend finding something to use as a creative outlet, whether it's music, art, gaming, whatever you find pleasure in doing, that will help release negative emotions. Anything involving my dog, she has helped me to not be reckless in life and knowing she depends on me gives me a lot of purpose. Having me time, doing things that make me feel better, like trimming or painting my nails, doing some skincare. Or whatever care my body needs at the moment. Girls will get me. I have a rose milk bath soak from Lola's apothecary that instantly lifts my mood as soon as I step into the bath. I get it girl. Pets and exercise. And I don't mean training for ultra marathons. Just go for a walk. Get outside. If you can get a sweat going. It will make life a whole lot better. This is my go to. I have trouble leaving the house some days. So having to walk the dogs forces me outside. It's especially helpful if I can get to the beach or mountains with them. Watching the dogs frolic and enjoy themselves. Plus the fresh air and scenery always makes me feel better. Jogging. I love it because I do not have to run fast. After jogging, I feel better. Also, I like that I'm actually doing something with my body rather being busy in my head. I make parallel beat video game themed things. It's the only thing I've ever created. I like it. Listening to music helps really stop you getting in that dark space. Depends. I used to go to group therapy and a lot of participants would say music helps them. But then the music they listened to was really emo stuff. So was the music actually helping? Or was it feeding into their depression? And most of the time, I was like one of two people in the group that actually had a functional life, like listening to MCR and wallowing in depression is a pastime of mine, but I know it isn't healthy for me. I started rollerblading again after like 20 years. It's wonderful. People stay 6 feet away from you. You get to be outside. It's low impact on the knees and aside from the initial baby death phase it's pretty fun. Taking walks around my neighborhood is the most therapeutic thing for me. It's the only chance I ever have to get out of my house. I started doing this last week. I don't know the science, but sunshine just heals you. Papercraft, sewing, and collecting action figures and dolls. I've always wanted these things and do these things as a kid. So it makes me a bit happy to finally be able to do it. Someone giving me food that I didn't expect. It will brighten my entire week if someone gives me a jolly rancher or something. Homemade? Even better. But all food makes me happy. Edit. I completely misread the question. But it's too late to change my answer now. Reading. Agreed. Reading is a low stress, low effort hobby for me. There's no pressure. You can go at your own pace. And if you're into physical copies of books it's kinda cool to have a collection. My depression makes it hard to get out of bed for anything other than work. So reading in bed instead of being on my phone for any amount of time makes me feel slightly more productive. 
Plus finishing a book is an accomplishment to be proud of, no matter the length or how long it takes you. Beer brewing, it takes a lot of time. Demands full attention, so you won't be thinking about how miserable you feel at this point in your life and there is a lot of variety when it comes to beer styles. I had a really bad year a couple of years ago. I did a lot of adult coloring books, which helped a bit. But the best thing was belting out showtons in my car on my way to and from work. Creative writing. I struggle to have the energy to do a lot of things, and my life isn't always the kind of exciting I want, but that isn't the case for my characters. It's worked great, and I'm currently working on the first draft of my first novel. Watching the very small garden birds using the bird bath, when there's little groups of different types, all crowding around it, waiting for their turn. It feels like an old school Disney moment. Oh my god some of the masu tiny, tiny, I marvel at their ability to get along in the world. World. I have a pigeon pea shrub that seems to be surviving winter. Inter. And it has grown up to my kitchen window. Indo. Recently it has been visited by truly wee pacific bush tits. Tits. Best bird watching view ever. Ever. This one isn't really a hobby. But I really love doing little routines like making my lunch for work the next day. Or going through the task of getting myself ready for bed. That sort of thing. Those little moments are very simple and zen for me. Very absent minded. They're a semblance of normalcy when everything else is feeling off. Currently going through a really bad wave of my depression right now. And those little routines are continuing to do their part. To add in some comfort where they can. Very wholesome. Spending time outside while doing something simple. Sitting near a lake, or laying on a hammock, while playing some instrument, or sitting there with pets is nice. Martial arts. I get to punch people, and get punched myself. Journaling what my life is to what I wish it would be. I have a boyfriend now, but sometimes I just imagine I'm a princess in a sat all tower and has coming to save me, and make me happy. Volunteering at the dog shelter. Walking the dogs. Playing with them. Feeding them etc. No need to interact with humans plus it's good exercise to keep my body active while distracting my mind. Animals can be amazingly therapeutic. Also, painting and sewing. Basically focusing my attention on clothes work while being creative and being able to enjoy slash appreciate the end product and get a sense of satisfaction from making something. Even though I'm not very skilled in these hobbies they are still enjoyable. Treasure hunting. I got into metal detecting. It's relaxing and digging up something cool is a nice dose of feel good rain chemicals. So cool. I always wanted a metal detector. What are some of your favorite finds? Skateboarding. Even if I don't land anything I have fun trying and forget about things for a while. I've rediscovered an affection for jigsaw puzzles. It allows me to focus on the small manageable problem of matching pieces together. Also, fostering dogs. If I can't take care of myself, I may as well take care of something else. Plus, avoiding having a dog poop in the house is a great motivator for getting out of bed. Weirdly I have gotten really into Super Smash Bros. Melee for Nintendo Gamma Cube. I had been cut off from my then 3 year old son and told I would not see him again. I was isolated abroad and severely depressed. I watched a documentary about the game and its competitive scene on YouTube. Afterwards I saw that a tournament featuring some of the people in the documentary had just taken place. This was in 2018, and there were years and years of tournaments uploaded. The scene has a really rich and evolving meter with some great narratives, and it is continuing to thrive and evolve to this day. It has such a following that people are able to make careers out of competing, streaming, and commentating on this one game alone. I love the tenacity in the determination to survive that the scene has. The game has a ridiculously high skill ceiling. To play it as well as the professionals play can take years. I have picked up a gamma pad myself and can now play online with people on the UK Discord. It's very satisfying to make progress in the game. You don't get upgrades or better stats. You actually have to get better at the game by learning about it and executing moves right down to the 1 over 60 frames per second. There's a lot of room for creativity in playstyles. It can feel a bit like playing chess at 100 miles per hour. 
It's great for letting out frustration or just having casual fun. A lot of my friends don't get it. But I really don't care. I play for me, not for them. The game was there for me when nobody else was, and I feel like it always will be. Dungeons and Dragons does wonders for me. I'm a dungeon master. It's a creative outlet, where I get to, write and draw and plan encounters. Something to look forward to each week or so. I'm lucky I have a group, that wants to take part in my homebrew. It's great to have friends like them. I count myself lucky, even if my brain doesn't always think so. Playing video games, especially RPGs, they help me escape my crappy, depressing reality and walk in someone else's shoes for a change. It's a plus if I get to play as a girl, because I've started to realize as I get older that I'm not just gay, but to a degree transgendered. I can't live freely as a gay man in my country and it's impossible to have a relationship here. The very few gay men I've met on dating apps here are only interested in sex and only sex with good looking guys. Being able to play as a girl lets me feel how I do on the inside. You know, I can have a romance with a guy. Thank you. Bioware. Be beautiful or simply pretty. Dress beautifully. All the things I can't do in my reality without getting hurt. I know this sounds kind of pathetic. But it's my way of coping with my circumstances, and playing video games give me a bit of solace. Watching sports but there's a very fine line. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe for more videos.